Dear VLV Pro user, version 8 of the program holds most important changes, especially related to the drawing of the pipe, but also related to shafts and 3D extensions. In this quick start I am using the expert version of the program, but all of this is also valid for the quick version. I have already uh, set the loads in the rooms, made the load calculation and positioned my indoor units. Notice that small pipes tab on every of the indoor units. This allows us to set the correct rotation of the indoor units right away. Nevertheless, when you are drawing a pipe, still stick to your habit uh, to start drawing from the middle of the unit towards the main piping. So drawing that main piping, like we already said in the teaser email that uh, we sent you a couple of days ago, uh, we said that we would need to connect the most remote indoor unit to the um, shaft or outdoor unit first. So I stop drawing there, I stop clicking my left mouse and I recontinue. Every time in doing so I put a corner point until I come to the shaft and I will continue from the shaft to the outdoor unit. So I'm getting the message here that okay, uh, my outdoor unit will be connected to indoor unit 34. This is indoor unit 34, which I uh, gladly acknowledge. Now the next thing to do would be to connect my closest indoor unit. So again I start drawing from the middle of the unit, pulling upwards towards the main pipe and if you see that I highlight the main pipe I can release my mouse button and this sense or in this way the um, joint has been selected. You can see that right away the diameters of the joints are selected and that uh, at the same time with the diameters I get something new here which is the pipe numbering. Yeah. By the way joints are drawn in this way now. Yeah. So the pipe numbering I see that this would be pipe number 3 that belongs to system 1 and it has one a quarter inch and one half inch or 6.4 and 12.7 liquid and gas pipe. Okay, so this is uh, also something new. But the fact that I uh, did connect the um, uh, shortest connection as well, this gave the possibility for the program to um, on the fly actually check my piping rules. And in here we did uh, check two things, uh, the golden rule that longest piping minus shortest piping after first branch cannot exceed 40 meter. Well, it can, but it has consequences. And the second, that the longest distance from an indoor unit to its nearest branch would never exceed 40 meters. Yeah? We can see this much better in the exercise here below. And allow me first, before I go down, to go to my editor palette and switch off the piping details, the labels and the joints. That will simplify a lot. But if I move down, I see this exercise here where I have um, important longer piping lengths than uh, just above here. So again, principle remains the same. I have to connect my piping from my most remote unit. I start drawing from I start drawing from the middle of the unit. I start drawing from the middle of the unit. I lift my life uh, my left mouse button. I release my finger. I push again. Uh, click to join to the shaft and click again to link to an outer unit so that outer unit will be connected to indoor unit 20 and I acknowledge. Good. As I said, the nice thing happens now if I uh, connect the pipe of my closest indoor unit to my main pipe and there right away I'm getting a uh, validation on the fly eh, directly to give me the two warnings. Mind you, there are warnings. Uh, first of all, the longest length from an indoor unit to its nearest branch cannot exceed 40 meters. That can never be exceeded. But then second rule, the golden rule, longest minus shortest. Eh? The longest is 45.4, that is that stretch. And the shortest is uh, 2.5 meters. Well, the difference cannot be more than 40 meters. It can, 
but then it will have some consequences that we will have to resize, upsize the intermediate piping. Good, this is an interesting information. I can uh, continue to draw the piping here above eh, um, and uh, every time link my indoor unit to my main piping. I can do the same here. I can do the same here and here and you see how quickly we can draw the pipe. No need to position the joint to reorient the orientator joint, choose the direction and so on, no need. From the longest towards the shaft or the outer unit, I'll connect to here, I'll connect on this corner point and I link the inner unit to that main piping. You see it is really a child's play, it's so easy, it became so easy to draw this piping and this way every time uh, and remember I switched off the uh, editor palette to show me the indication of joints and headers uh, but I can uh, simply uh, make my connections this way and this piping is really a child's play now I have uh, done all this, you see an editor palette again, uh, the uh, diameters and the um, labels are shown here. By the way, if you don't want to see these diameters, uh, rather the piping the diameters, if you don't want to see these, um, uh, here, these numbering, you can switch them off in uh, file options. Uh, and you show piping numbers, you can switch that off in that sense you only keep the diameters and not the piping number eh? okay, since we have it, why not show it, okay voila good um, I'll go to the lower exercise again because there's something I want to show you again so I switch off these things again, make my drawing simple I go to the drawing below and here I can continue to draw my pipes but when I draw my pipes every time this validation will happen so here if I draw this pipe from this unit okay I still get that same me mm, I have one message solved already it's only the longest minus shortest because in the meantime you see that length that exceeded 40 meters now in the meantime Oops. In the meantime, it has changed to 38 meters, so that second warning is no need anymore. But uh, I'm keeping the warning uh, to uh, have a shortest minus longest, and if I continue drawing the piping, I'll have the same when I do this connection. Up. And in fact, the simplest way to get rid of all these warnings, uh, first we'll acknowledge this one, uh, but the simplest way is simply to disconnect the main pipe here, so to disconnect the main pipe, delete, yeah, uh, we have checked the most important one, longest minus short, as we know that we can uh, go there, and so we can con continue to connect all the other pipes. Uh, there we are, up, and this way, and this way, until we connect all pipes. So um, here we'll see something else, because I got this message here that the point of inserting this new refna joint is too close to an existing one. Okay, I can bypass this simply by inserting a point. And you see, we used to have another icon for inserting a corner on a wall. We have a simple insert button here now because it is also valid for the piping. So clicking this icon here, click very close to this joint. Okay, I could install a joint there because I have now a corner point and I can link this pipe eventually with an oblique line I can link this pipe to go to that main pipe as well don't worry about uh, this here in the corner the corner close to, to each other and so on this will all be solved by the piping optimization so I can continue to draw my pipes uh, and in a certain um, aspect it is quite simple uh, to do all of this because um, once I will reconnect the main pipe here I will see that my whole system will be validated I will connect to, I could have renamed the joint I will connect to this joint here and this aha, uh -huh, 
still a validation longest minus shortest but notice that now it is no longer this unit that is a problem but this unit in the unit 14 so if I okay it's not it's not always possible but just to show you that that is the unit now uh, that gives the difficulty if I validate now okay I got rid of that error there but I'm getting another warning and this other warning applies to something completely different eh? because now we have we happen to have a wall mounted unit and that wall mounted unit would uh, want would need a drain pump if we want to connect that condensate drain in the uh, false ceiling so if you would consider connecting it to a lower main pipe or a main pipe on a lower floor rather you would read you would need a service shaft so here possibly you would have to make to need a service shaft to connect that piping to the main piping of the floor underneath this floor okay what is all this or where does it come from there's again simply a warning eh? but um, if you look to this piping here you see that this piping has a length of 2.5 meter if we do the same for this unit what do we see there? Well, we would have 4 meter horizontally, but also half a meter vertical. Now, if I would change, edit this unit and make it a floor standing unit instead, uh, a floor standing unit instead, there you would see that this pipe here uh, would even be different. We had 4 meter horizontal still, but 2.3 vertical. Uh, so we have now in this version a far better uh, way to control also the vertical level difference of good we validated our piping again now no longer errors exist as we saw before it's just a warning about this uh, possibility that you might prefer to connect to the lower floor that's it another possibility that we already know from previous version is that we can also optimize the piping uh, and in optimizing the piping we can rotate in the units connect to the end etc etc so you know that so optimizing, okay, we, uh, and here you can uh, take the possibility of inserting a point, for instance, in the piping and making this one horizontally moving left and this one vertically moving top uh, to again uh, correct it. If you uh, look more into details into a joint, uh, you could um, right click this joint as well. You can swap the connections, but okay, you don't want to do this here now. Uh, here you swap connections uh, and the main pipe would be the branch so this is not what you want eh? but you can uh, flip a refnet as well mm? so here it would uh, again not be correct eh? the main pipe takes a branch so let's put it back to the original connection swap connections and flip uh, this joint okay here we see uh, this has not been corrected by the optimization but still in spite of being beta 10 uh, there are still some aspects to be solved so that will no doubt be solved later on so here I'm on my ground floor uh, again it's a good idea to temporarily install a unit on the floor and make sure all validations are okay now that it has been validated I can delete that outer unit and uh, obviously my piping for my ground floor is in my shaft let me now go to a first level and copy that first level from another floor from the ground floor okay so here I give it first and I confirm so everything has been copied with it uh, on this floor here good what can I do just now well I can put the piping of this first floor into the shaft as well so from this joint I go into the shaft let's have a closer look on what's happening to that shaft so the first thing I have to do is to insert a point where I will connect a new joint that will link both the ground floor and that first floor this will be here okay now that I have this point I can take my piping take it out of the shaft go down and link it to that uh, joint over here so 
obviously this is coming from joint zero from the ground floor and I confirm. Now here I'm getting the new joint that I will rename right away. Double click and I rename it into JNT 0 underscore 1. Linking ground floor and first floor. Good. This is my joint and the um, thing I can do now is to okay, tidy this up, make it right here for instance, but I can also position my outdoor unit here and link the piping from my shaft to the outdoor unit. Obviously the connection to my outdoor unit will come from the common joint of ground floor and uh, first floor joint JNT01. Here it is, my piping has been made. Now granted, eh, it looks some confusing here and no doubt we will try to find a solution to that, possibly in beta 12 now. <laughs> uh, but um, new information is also that we can edit this shaft. And here we see that we have valuable information as well that we didn't have before. We see pipes coming from and going to related to the shaft, shaft 2. We see that we have a pipe coming from the joint zero, JNT0 zero, that goes into the shaft and then is going to joint 0 underscore 1. And you see as well that another pipe going into the shaft is from joint JNT01 JNT leading to outdoor unit 3. So this is information that clarifies what's happening but we're not quite happy about everything coming to that center of the joint of that shaft but that will be improved later on. There is an aspect that I forgot to mention you, but just before we leave, uh, I have to go to down to level zero again in that bottom exercise. And remember, uh, we still had that uh, those warnings about uh, longest, minus, shortest piping and so on. We didn't have it in the end because actually the program did make corrections to upsize the piping. And we are used to having the green piping for two pipe and the purple for um, uh, the three pipe, the heat recovery. Now you see we have two tints of green. Actually if you go to file options uh, in the floor plan colors you see here now we have two pipe is green and upsized two pipe is pale green and the same for purple. So this is um, valuable information. We already had uh, this indication of upsized piping in the pipe schematic, uh, but here we have it on the floor plan uh, as well. Okay, that's it for now. There is more to come about this piping and the shaft and so on, but I will uh, do that in the uh, next video uh, in a couple of days. Okay, bye for now and thank you for your attention.